Today, in this video, uh, we'll learn easy mnemonic uh, to remember the ECG changes which are seen in the hyperkalemia. So before moving to the mnemonic, first we'll discuss about the ECG changes and then only we'll proceed to the mnemonics. So the ECG changes which are seen in hyperkalemia are listed in this uh, slide. So first ECG change which is seen in hyperkalemia is tall tented T wave. So we all should be able to identify this uh, uh, ECG change because uh, it is very important and um, if we miss this uh, diagnosis, this can lead to the life-threatening uh, arrhythmias later due to progression of the hyperkalemia. So next change occurs in the P wave. The P wave uh, starts to flatten, there is widening of the P wave and sometimes P wave may even disappear. And the next is next change is in the PR interval. The, there is prolongation of the PR interval. And the next change we can see in the QRS complex as well. The QRS complex start to grid, uh, get broad and bizarre. And this is followed by the sine wave pattern where no ECG waves can be differentiated. And finally, the patient uh, develops asystole and dies. So now we'll look at uh, some ECGs which will show the changes uh, related to the hyperkalemia. As you can see in this first ECG, there is a tall tented pinched T wave uh, and there is also absence of the P waves. As you can see there is absence of the P wave and you can also see the white QRS complex. So these are the typical findings. Uh, in the ECG of a patient with hyperkalemia. So this is the second ECG. Again, in this ECG, uh, you can show in this, uh, you can see in this red circle that there is a tall tented T wave, and um, this uh, dark blue circle shows the flattening of or absence of the P wave, and this light blue circle shows a widening of the QRS complex, and this brown circle. Uh, it shows the sine wave pattern. In this third ECG, you can see uh, this red arrow show the tall and tented T waves, and this uh, dark blue arrows uh, they show the flattening or absence of the P wave, uh, which is the typical feature of hyperkalemia. Again, uh, uh, the same features are shown in this ECG where you can see the tall tented T waves, small P waves or flattening of the P waves and the white QRS complex. This is the fifth ECG which shows the asystole which is the end result of the severe hyperkalemia if it's uh, not treated in time. To remember all these ECG changes, uh, you can remember this mnemonic TPRSA. So when you remember this uh, small mnemonic, you will be able to remember all the ECG changes. So uh, the T in TPRSA is for tall tented T waves. P is for P wave widening or flattening. Again, the P is for PR prolongation. R is for QRS complex widening. S is for sine wave pattern. And A is for asystole. Similarly, we have a uh, next mnemonic uh, which can help us to remember the ECG changes in hyperkalemia. We call them pooling effect. So what happens uh, in hyperkalemia is that the uh, T wave, uh, it is pulled vertically, so it looks like uh, pinched or it has a tented appearance. So T wave is pulled vertically. However, the uh, rest of the waves including P wave, PR interval, QRS complex, all are pulled horizontally. So there is widening of the P wave, there is PR prolongation, widening of the QRS complex, sine wave pattern, and finally asystole. So this, uh, if you remember that the hyperkalemia causes the pulling effect, then you can uh, remember all the ECG changes uh, seen in the hyperkalemia. In this table, um, we can see the ECG changes according to the level of the potassium. So when the potassium level is between 5.5 to 6.5 millimole per liter, there will be tall tented T waves. And when the uh, potassium becomes 6.5 to 7, 7, then there's P wave widening and PR prolongation. Similarly, when the potassium is between 7 to 9, 
uh, there will be white QRS complex and the Brady arrhythmias and if uh, and when the potassium is more than 9 there will be sinoid pattern and osystole uh, and uh, this sequence can be again remembered by using the same mnemonic TPRSA I hope this video was uh, helpful if it was helpful please subscribe to my channel thank you so much